Verse number 9, the Bible reads, What profit is there in my blood when I shall go down to the pit? Shall the dust praise thee? Shall it declare thy truth? And this is, this is the type of verse, if it's not this one, it's another one just like it, where the people who believe in this soul sleep. Soul sleep meaning that when you die, that you're basically, your soul is, it's like it's asleep in the ground. So you bury your body and your soul is like still with your body and is just like sleeping in the ground all the way up until Jesus comes back and then you're going to wake up again. And it's, it's a real bizarre teaching. But they go to verses like this in order to try to prop up that doctrine. Because obviously there's so many places in Scripture you can see like, well, how did Abraham rejoice to see Jesus' day if he's asleep in the ground, right? How was it that he's able to know what's going on and, and rejoice? You know, and again, I could go on and on and on with all these examples in Scripture. What about Elijah being carried to heaven? What about, all, you know, all these people that we see? Uh, what about John? being alive and having these visions of seeing all these saints in heaven. Aren't they all supposed to be asleep? You know, he actually literally is in, in the spirit, is caught up to the third heaven. And, and he sees these visions, and he sees what's going on, and there's saints up there, people who have been sanctified and washed in the blood of Christ. What are they doing in heaven? I thought they're supposed to be sleeping in the ground, right? It doesn't make any sense. So, but what they'll do is they'll turn a verse like this, verse number 9. It says, What profit is there in my blood when I go down to the pit? And they'll say, See, the pit's a grave. And it is a grave here. It is a grave. This isn't talking about hell. He's talking about, you know, what, what good is it in my blood for, for me to die when I go to the pit? Shall the dust praise thee? Shall it declare thy truth? So he's saying, Well, what good is it for me to die? Because I'm, when I'm alive, I'm praising you. When I'm alive, I'm declaring your truth, Lord. I'm doing something for you. You're receiving my praise. You know, what good is it then for me to die? And they'll say, see, when you're, uh, when you're dead, then you're not doing these things. It's like, well, he's talking about being here on this earth. He's talking about declaring his truth to other people on this earth, right? Because when you die, you can't do those things anymore. It doesn't, it's not saying that your soul is asleep in the ground. It's not saying that you're, you're not, you know, it's not saying anything about heaven. And it's not saying anything about hell. He's just making a point to, if I were to die, and, and again, in the context here, he's talking about God saving him out of things and not letting his enemies rejoice and being there for him, right? And, and, and he's rejoicing and saying, hey, well, if I die, what, you know, what good is that going to be, God? And then, then who's, I'm not going to be able to rejoice. I'm not going to be able to declare your truth. And in the context, it just makes perfect sense. But see, people who want to twist scripture are going to turn to this and, and, and just focus on the one verse and try to tell you that it means something a little bit different. We maybe kind of see what they're saying, but it's like, you know, watch out for that. Watch out for that, especially the, the, the passages where you're not necessarily very uh, comfortable with or not very knowledgeable in, you know. Uh, don't let that, don't let them turn your head on these things. Now, as long as we're here, uh, you know, I'll, I'll say this because I was planning on getting this a little bit later in the sermon, but notice he said, what profit is there in my blood when I go down to the pit? Which is basically saying, what good is it for me to die? Shall the dust praise thee? Shall it declare thy truth? Would you be able to make the same case to God and say, God, what good would it be for you to kill me? Because if you kill me, then I won't be praising you and declaring your truth, right? He's able to say that with a good conscience and, and know, because he is praising the Lord. He is declaring the truth of God. But would you be able to look at God and say, any reason why God shouldn't just end your life right now? Are you doing anything for him? Are you, are you doing anything at all for the Lord? I mean, at least praising him, are you, you know, what are you doing for him? And that's something to just, to just look inward to yourself and say, you know, what am I doing? What, can, I, can I stand before the Lord and, and present a good case and say, God, you know, I want to stay here. I want to be here because I want to praise you. I want to help other people. I wanna, you know, and you're actually doing it. 